I'm going to call to order and welcome everyone to the Committee of Whole Council meeting Monday, July 4th, 2022. We'll start with the acknowledgement of treaties of peace and friendship. We would like to begin by acknowledging that the land on which we gather is traditional unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq peoples. This territory is covered by the treaties of peace and friendship, which Willis DeWayek, Mi'kmaq and Passamaquoddy peoples first signed with the British Crown in 1726. The treaties did not deal with surrender of lands and resources, but in fact recognized Mi'kmaq and Willis DeWayek title and established the rules for what was to be an ongoing relationship between nations. Thank you. Walaulam. Next is the reaffirmation of the oath of office. We do hereby accept the office of counsel and will diligently, faithfully, and impartially discharge to the best of our ability the duties of the office as may be imposed upon us by law. Next is the adoption of the agenda. Are there any changes to the agenda? Can we get a mover for the adoption of the agenda? M202207-04-111, that the agenda be adopted as presented. You can get a seconder. I'll second it. Uh, on the question, all those in favor say aye. All those opposed say nay. Motion is passed. Uh, we don't have any presentations, petitions, or delegations. Business. Um, do we have any business no. uh, arising? Um, so we have the presentations uh, from council members and Councillor Carrier. You're, you're first up. Uh, yes, I just was wondering uh, if uh, CAO Kingston could tell me if the funding for the walking trails um, that I had brought up previously if that had been applied for. I'm not even sure if you were here when it was brought up, but I had sent some links through. Um, I think they were called green trails, and it's, I'm thinking it may be something that Daryl was supposed to look into, and I was just wondering if we had an update on that, but maybe it's all new to you. <laughs> and it's okay if it is, but if it is, well then um, I'll get you maybe to, uh, to look into it and get, get that funding applied for. I would appreciate whatever links you had, and I'll, I'll follow up. No, I'm not aware. Okay, okay, that would be good. And then the other thing was, I'm just wondering if um, other council members would be in agreement um, to up, update and upgrade our kitchen at the rec center. Um, mainly, we need a dishwasher in there is what my thought is, and I've, I've heard some uh, rumors that the, the ceiling, there's some, some problems there with the ceiling. Um, but overall, I think that the kitchen needs a bit of an upgrade, and, and I know that there's some space where there had been showers there, which I guess were intended for when the power club was there, and I don't believe those are even in use, so I'm thinking that's some space that we could utilize if we wanted to expand that kitchen. Um, but I'm just wondering how council would feel about that and if I would have you know support if, if that was something we would want to move forward with. I think it, it's time for renovation in the rec center. I know there was some kind of uh, discussions done in the past by one of the CAOs, and there was doc they had started documentation on upgrades by two CAOs before. I anyway, so, <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it's a good idea because it's it's there's nothing that's been put in there for so long, and it, it does need it, and we use it often for the uh, the event committee. Yeah, um, if I may, Your Worship, uh, I, I believe it's high time that the, uh, the rec center kitchen be um, renovated. Uh, at the end of the day, um, we have a state-of-the-art facility that is uh, uh, second to none for our area. Um, I believe that uh, it accommodates, you know, large gatherings. Um, I'm not a firm believer that it it competes against, for example, as you know, I'm aware, of, I'm highly involved with the Legion, but the rec center has never competed with the Legion uh, in any way, shape, or form, and uh, it has worked out extremely well. But with that said, uh, I think that the rec center needs to be updated. It needs to be uh, um, brought up to, to date. As far as the dishwasher is concerned, uh, you know, uh, 
got a little experience on that. Uh, the, the Legion has a uh, state-of-the-art dishwasher that was installed. It washes, dries every load within about three and a half minutes. So washes, dries, sterilizes, and ready to put away. So um, I believe that, you know, if I were to say my, my memory serves me correctly, it was about $7,000 for that dishwasher. So uh, with that said, uh, it serves our, our, our Legion very well. And uh, when you're looking at volunteers trying to deal with uh, receptions and things of that nature, one of the biggest problems is finding people to wash dishes. So I believe it'd be a big asset for our, for our, for our uh, kitchen. Also, there was problems with the oven. Uh, the oven, once it gets heated up, they checked it, but then after it gets heated up so far, then it, it doesn't uh, cook as well. So just, uh, we got a check by an electrician. They didn't find a problem, but I know that in the past that we've had problems with it. Okay, so I think uh, as far as, and I can, I'll step down just for a second, we definitely should have some renovations there. And I thought, I know the last council agreed with it too. I thought we had got to the point where we had made motions, but maybe we didn't. But if we haven't, then we, we definitely should, because that's, uh, that's something we, that's one of those things that have been, is going on for too long, and those things need to be fixed and upgraded. So, anyone else? Okay. Um, CAO Kingston. I, oh. I, I, if I if I can make a second comment, I would, Your Worship, if that's okay. Um, I, I believe you've hit a nail right on the head in the sense of saying that uh, motions were made and nothing happened. I believe that's uh, one of the areas uh, that you know our CAO will excel at. And uh, with that said, uh, you know it comes down to that. That is, an, that is an area in the past that has been missing. Um, far, I, I, you know, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. I just want to say that at the end of the day, when council makes a motion, there should be action taken on that motion uh, by the direction of our CAO. And I, I know that uh, our interim CAO is a man of action, so he looks forward to motions. So, with that said, uh, you know, I believe that any motions made in the future will be uh, dealt with uh, efficiently. Anyone else on this? Okay, then we'll move to administration and CEO Kingston. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, I'm just in an effort to close the files because you, you end up chasing these files around your desk uh, several times. Uh, council had asked me in response to the bird watching group um, to look at um, either moving a gazebo from the river road to the back of the ball field um, and or uh, building um, a platform or a covered platform, an open platform for that purpose. Um, so there was um, quotations brought forward, both to move it and to build it. And um, I am looking for a motion to be brought forward at the next regular meeting on the gazebos in order to close that file. You know, what are we do or what are we going to do? If, and if not anything, then I will just close the file. Um, so in the past, this gazebo was built with funding. Is that is that how that went up? Uh, my understanding is that they receive funding from some for that. Have we looked into any funding or 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 any monies to help us make a decision on this? Like, is there a is there an opportunity to look for funding to get a new gazebo or move it? It's possible, it's possible Councillor. I I don't know the avenues that might have to take place. I'd maybe have to get Daryl involved in some of that, yeah. but um, again, uh, the file remains open. Um, we do have the money to move it or build it if you want to. Um, and whether or not you want to acquiesce to the, to the, the demands of the nature group, the bird watching group. Apparently uh, there's a lot of people that watch Birds. I don't know whether or not they need a building to do that or not, but that's neither here nor there. Okay. 
Do you want to follow that up, Councillor Gutierrez? No? no, I was just curious to see if there was grants or any funding to establish a new one in a location that they want. Uh, considering that this one is in a, a location that can't be used, so I'm just curious. I, I thought I would like to be uh, to see funding. I look for funding for it also, and that we wouldn't have to foot the full bill for it. There must be grants out there because there's all kinds of nature grant grants and tourism, and I think that that must fall underneath one of those uh, scenarios. So I, if it was possible, that, you know, even if we got five thousand on it, it would be five thousand that our tax uh, payers wouldn't have to pay. So. Anyone else? Yep, um, the gazebo was built um, through partnership with Ducks Unlimited and through Bria. And I think that's gonna be part of the problem of finding funding for these types of projects is usually it's under a not-for-profit, which is, so the municipality doesn't qualify. That's why the project was spearheaded by Bria initially. So I don't, I don't know that you're gonna find a lot of funding opportunities for those types of projects. They're usually under an auspice of a, a not-for-profit. No one else? Um, my thought is, like, for bird watching, I agree, like, it doesn't, it doesn't require a building to be able to watch birds. We have a multitude of gazebos in this community. Um, I don't know, I mean, like we've said many times, we haven't had our strategic planning session, so we don't know where gazebos fit into our grand plan of where we're going to spend our money. And the fact that if this group was serious about it, they could apply to be a nonprofit and they could apply themselves for the funding and then the village would just be able to give use of land. Um, I mean, I just find it hard to, to, to go ahead and, and use tax dollars money to provide a gazebo so that people can look at birds when the people who want it aren't willing to put any work or effort into it themselves. Um, so that's kind of where I stand with it. Um, if I may, Your Worship. Uh, uh, first of all, there, in, in our community, there are very few registered nonprofit organizations. In fact, again, I believe the Legion is the last one, if I'm not mistaken. With that said, uh, you know, the, the, the Legion has received uh, federal and provincial grants in the past, substantial funding, and it's been greatly appreciated and has enhanced our building. Um, you know, the other, in fact, one of those projects was done through the village of Beldoon because uh, the application was requested that it be processed through the village of Beldoon uh, to uh, the nonprofit organization, which uh, council kindly agreed to do, and uh, and that uh, that proposal and that application was all approved and went through with uh, no problems whatsoever. So it can be done. Uh, with that said, uh, you know there's uh, the, the 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 only comment I would make to that would be um, I do all the administration to the legion. And I don't know if I would be in a conflict of interest if I was doing that. So um, I, I'm not aware of anyone else, uh, you know, who would be able to take that on. Uh, you know, I'm sure we may be able to find somebody, but at the end of the day, uh, certainly we would offer our cooperation to to try to make that happen if it was. I, I'm only advising that I, I may be in a conflict of interest uh, if I'm looking after the administration uh, on a grant of that of that nature going through the Legion. That, that's all I want to make you aware of. I can talk, I just step down for a minute. Just one of the things that, about this project I was thinking too, if council wanted me to, we haven't asked, I mean, Glencore is, I mean, Nat and, um, and Kelly have been phenomenal at Glencore. They've been extremely cooperative and great to talk with. Maybe this is one of those things that we can pass by them to see if they would be interested in helping underwrite some of the costs, if not all the costs. It's not an exorbitant amount of money, and I think that's one of those concrete things that they could do that could leave behind that 
would leave us, you know, without having to put that money forward. And I just have a sense that they would probably, you know, take a serious look at doing it. So if council, we have a meeting coming up with uh, the representatives if that's one of those issues that you'd like me to put forward to see if they would be interested or willing to put some money under it, then that's what we'll do. How about the port? Wouldn't they, they give any money towards that also? Because the port supports uh, the village quite a bit. Yeah, uh, I think maybe we might be able to, among all these groups, local groups, try to try to find that funding. Yeah. Hey, worth a shot anyway. Um, anyone else? Okay, so we'll do that when, when we meet with them. We'll, we'll add that to the file. So that takes us to... The, um, the end of this uh, Committee of Whole meeting. Um, can I get an adjournment M motion? M2022-0704-112, that the meeting is adjourned at 718. Can I get a seconder? I'll second it. On the motion, all those in favor say aye. All those opposed say nay. A motion passed, uh, meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone.